Professor Dave here. Let's learn the law of cosines. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. We just learned the law of sines for oblique triangles. So let's learn one more law of importance. That's the law of cosines. This one is sort of like the Pythagorean theorem in that it relates the squares of the lengths of the triangle. But the Pythagorean theorem works only for right triangles, whereas the law of cosines works for any triangle. Here is a general triangle with sides of length A, B, and C in lowercase and angles A, B, and C in uppercase, which correspond to the lengths directly opposite. What this law says is that if we know the length of any two sides of a triangle and the measure of the angle between them, we can calculate the length of the third side. a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. As you can see, the square of the missing length is expressed in terms of the other two lengths and the angle between them. While the law of sines allowed us to solve side angle angle, angle side angle and side side angle triangles, now with the law of cosines we can solve side angle side triangles. Take this one for example. We've got our two sides and the angle between them known. So let's plug everything into the equation. Simplify a little bit. And there's our value for the third side. From here, we could use the law of sines to get one more angle, and then subtract these two from 180 to get the final angle. Now we know everything about this triangle. Notice that we couldn't have solved this with the law of sines alone, because to use that law, we need one side and angle that correspond to one another, as well as one other piece of information in order to start using the ratio. With the law of cosines, we can also solve for side-side-side triangles. This is because if we know all three side lengths, we can solve for any one of the angles. The easiest way to do this is to solve for the angle that is opposite the longest side. So for this triangle, let's call the longest side C. Using the general formula, let's solve for angle C. Bring this term containing the angle to the other side and make it positive. And bring c squared to the other side. Then we just divide and now we are ready to plug in all the values. We plug in side lengths a, b, and c. Simplify. And we get our answer for cosine of c. We take the inverse cosine and there's our angle to the nearest tenth. From here, we just use the law of sines to get one more angle, and then subtract these two from 180 to get the third angle. So as we can see, both the law of sines and law of cosines are very straightforward in their application. So let's go ahead and check comprehension. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.